What's up YouTube, Tactical Suite here once again. Thanks for tuning in. So, I wanted to do one last final video on the Meprolite FT Bullseye site here. Um, the last couple videos I did, the install and then the testing, there's been a lot of comments, a lot of questions in the comment section, a lot of differing opinions on things, and I, I wanted to kind of answer some of those questions as best as I could, um, and you know, give you guys the information you need to make a educated decision on this. So, uh, first and foremost, it's important to understand just what this site is, and more importantly, what it isn't. Uh, this site is designed to be a combat site, a you know defensive site, something you're going to use in close quarters combat to accurately and quickly hit a torso-sized target. Um, at self-defense distances. Um, I would categorize that as, you know, 15 yards and in. In reality, probably closer than that. If you look at most self-defense scenarios, things happen in, in a couple feet distance. So that's what this is designed for. It's designed for close shooting. Um, it's, it's definitely not a, a target site. It's not something you're going to be out at the range, you know, plinking at 50 yards or, you know, putting holes in holes and quarter size groups. Uh, it's just not what it's designed for and it's not going to be good at that. So, again, important to know what it's, what it's designed use is for. Um, now, there are pros and cons of this site. Um, as I said, you know, for the distance it's designed for, up close and personal inside of 15 yards it's very quick to acquire that site and and get it on target um, it's very accurate for again hitting that torso sized target at those distances um, I have no problem hitting what I'm shooting at with this but um, it does have some negatives to it um, one would be adjustability it really doesn't have a lot of adjustability here. Um, if you look on the slide itself, there's not a whole lot of room left or right to adjust, but you can move it slightly. I mean, we're talking fractions of an inch, maybe a quarter inch in each direction, if that. But unlike a traditional three-dot sight where you have a front sight post and two dots in the back, moving this thing left and right is only going to change your point of impact the amount you're moving it. So if you move this thing to the right a quarter of an inch, it's only going to adjust your point of impact a quarter of an inch to the right. So not a whole lot of adjustability there. And as far as ele elevation goes, there really is no adjustability other than you can shim under the front or the rear and then tighten it down and that will slightly change the angle that it sits on the gun to give you a little bit of elevation adjustment. That being said, if you're using it for the purpose it's designed for, it should, out of the box, sit on your gun and give you accurate shots, again, to hit a torso-sized target at those closer distances. If you want to shoot at 50 yards or more, this is not a good site for you. If that's what you're looking for, look elsewhere because this is not going to be a good option for that. Mainly because as you get on target, you know, as, as you get further away, the target gets smaller. Or if you're just shooting at small targets to begin with. At those distances, the sight and the gun itself are going to block your vision of the target. You're not going to see what you're shooting at. As, you know, as you're closer, a torso-sized target is bigger than your gun. So you put the bullseye sight in the middle of, the, of that torso and pull the trigger, and you're going to hit that torso. As you get further away, that target gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it's blocked by the gun itself, and you can't really see what you're aiming at. Can, can you hit 50 yards with this? Yeah, I've done it. But am I as consistent or as accurate as I am when I'm using a traditional three-dot sight? No, absolutely not. So 
long distance shooting and shooting at very small targets, not the greatest option. Um, also, uh, one of the only real, for me, one of the only real negatives to this, and it's, it's not a huge thing, but it's something to consider. As I've said previously, the, the fiber optics on this is awesome. Like in bright light, very easy to pick up that bullseye. As is the case with low light. When you're in complete, well, not necessarily complete darkness, but if you're in dark, low light conditions, the tritium in this is also easy to pick up. It's dimmer than the fiber optics, but you want it that way. You don't want that very bright sight picture if you're in low light conditions, because then it's going to affect your vision. It's going to be too bright, and it's going to blow your eyes out. You're not going to be able to see anything past the sight. Where you can run into issues with this is if you are in a dark area and you are aiming into an area that is brightly lit. Example, you're in a dark bedroom and you're aiming into a brightly lit hallway. That sight, because, because it's using the tritium and it's dimmer, is going to be a little bit harder to pick up against that bright background that you're aiming at. Also, because your eyes are looking into a bright area, pupils dilate, you don't see the dimmer stuff as well but it is still visible uh, i don't want to i don't want to you know make people misunderstand and think that it's completely going to disappear on you it's not but you have to look a little bit harder it's not as as bright as it is if you're shooting outdoors but that's really the only negative i found with it i've had this on here for for a couple months now uh, i've been shooting with it a lot and I I love using it. I really do. I haven't I haven't found anything that makes me want to take it off. Um, I, I'll actually take that back a little bit. If you notice here, the front sight is missing. And if you noticed in the other videos, I was talking a lot about how when I was first shooting this, it was very hard to break myself of the habit of of looking for the front sight. Um, just years of training, picking up the front sight, it's it, it was instinctive. You'd as you pick it up, you see the front sight. You want to look at the front sight. Um, I, I I didn't want to really train myself out of that habit because I do have other guns that have traditional three dot sights on them, and I'm not going to put this sight on everything I have. So I didn't want to completely train myself out of that. So talking to some other people, they said that removing that front sight had really helped him out and I decided to try it and when I took that front sight off it was like a, a switch went off in my brain and since the sight wasn't there anymore my brain didn't see it and I instinctively looked for the bullseye um, I had no issues with it. it was like like I said a switch went off but then when I picked up Another gun that had traditional three-dot sights, it was like riding a bike. And because the front sight is there, I saw it, and my brain instinctively looked for it, and you line up your sight picture, boom. Once I took that front sight off of here, it affected how I shot both of them for the better because I didn't have to train myself out of something that I would then have to retrain myself to do with a traditional sight so worked out great um, I would suggest if you are thinking about putting one of these on your gun you do take that front sight off of there just so it's not in your line of sight because if it's there you're gonna see it and you're gonna wanna look at it um, it's just instinct your brain you know for all that training you've done to look for it it's hard to train your brain not to do it and as I said, it's, it's a, a negative thing to train your brain not to do it because you might one day need to pick up a gun that has normal sights. So I'm definitely keeping this on here. Um, this gun, this is my everyday carry defensive handgun. Um, I'm never going to be using this at any great distances where I would need to shoot something far away. So this works great for me. Um, if I want to shoot at some distance, I have other guns that I can use. So, if you only have one gun and you need it to be very multi-purpose, this might not be a great sight for you. If you 
like to shoot at 50 yards or more or you like to shoot really small targets or really small groups put holes in holes this might not be a great site for you um, it it is a little bit pricey and that might be a turn off for some people as well um, as I said in the original video though I was planning on milling out the slide and putting a red dot on there so this was more cost effective and it, it works so it works for me it might not work for everybody it depends on your situation but hopefully that answers any of the questions people have about this site uh, I don't plan on doing any more videos on this one so uh, if you have any questions hit me up in the comments I'll be glad to uh, answer anything I can that's all I got today guys please if you like what I'm doing give me that thumbs up please hit that subscribe button stay up to date with any new videos we got coming out we'll catch you next time guys till then Live life and have fun out there.